hey guys it's zoe and welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming to you with a wig tutorial what else is new this hair is from eunice or yeah i was about to say is it you nice or eunice whichever anyway that's where i got the hair from and opening the box it came with this really cute like little gift bag goodie bag and it came with a wig cap a pair of earrings which are actually super cute and it came with like an edge comb brush thing which i'm always using and a pair of lashes so this is the hair i think this is 24 inch 150 density and it's a 13 by 4 lace now guys when i tell you i was so scared when this arrived like this color like i love it and i've done like colors like this and wilder colors before but i was just so scared because it's curly as well so i thought it was just gonna look really like just busy and just not nice but anyway you'll see at the end but it turned out really cute so i really couldn't decide if i should bleach the knots or not because the hair was already quite light itself and it went all the way up to the root but there were a few like little black dots that i could spot so I decided to just, you know, I might as well bleach it. Why not? So I just went ahead and wrapped my wig head with a little like plastic bag. And I just do this to stop my wig head from staining. Because as you can see, she's already not in the best, <laughs> best looking state. But yeah, this just stops the bleach from seeping onto that. I just go ahead and flip the wig inside out. And it should look like this. And then I just use some T-pins to just secure everything in place. And for the bleach today, as usual, I'm using my Jerome Russell B Blonde Bleach. Jerome Russell sponsor me. Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm just using this. I just use one of the sachets and then like a third of the bottle of the developer. I don't use the whole thing because I want it to be like a toothpaste consistency. As you can see, like you can easily spread it on. And I find this part so satisfying, but I'm just grabbing my knife and just applying the bleach like I'm literally spreading butter on a sandwich like <laughs> that's literally what we're doing here so yeah I just applied that I was really really concerned that you know I was gonna leave the bleach on for too long or it was gonna over process and like start shedding and I don't know I just I was very cautious about this so I kept checking the wig every like five to ten minutes and I washed everything out after about 20. Now if you're wondering what I use to wash my wigs I use my OGX coconut milk shampoo and conditioner and it's literally the best I use this for my natural hair as well 10 out of 10 would recommend but this is what the hair looked like when it's wet and this is what the knots look like it's slightly better she looked a bit orange which not the best um, I definitely could have used a toner there but once everything was like on my head it looked normal so don't worry about the orange tinge and I went ahead and plucked it off camera as you can see this is the after this is what it was looking like I really loved how the hair looked like wet so I was considering doing a wet look um you'll see you know later on but yeah that's the hair prep now the lace quality was really nice it wasn't gray or anything it was a nice beigey transparent color so I just grabbed my nw58 mac powder and i just applied that on the inside of the lace just to help everything blend in with my skin again but i didn't really have to do too much in terms of tinting so that's always a major plus for me so popping the wig straight on this is what it looked like and i was feeling it guys like i was digging the side part the fluffy look and you know the minute i put it on my head my confidence was restored because like i said i was so scared about this wig guys so i just made sure everything was fit on my head properly before i go ahead and cut the lace and i just use my eyebrow razor for this as usual now the wig fit me perfectly i got a medium cap size and it fit around my ears perfectly like i didn't have to cut off any excess hair or like excess lace apart from you know the excess that was already there to glue down the wig i'm using my got to be black gel and i'm using my blasting free spray and i'm just applying the black gel first with the back of my eyebrow razor i really like it because it's a flat surface so i can really you know focus on applying it where i need to then i lift the lace up a bit and then apply the free spray 
before putting it back down and just making sure everything is super super dry before moving on to the next section i always recommend you know gluing your wigs down in small sections and going bit by bit this just stops you accidentally applying it you know somewhere it doesn't need to be or you know everything might get a bit messy because of the spray so i defo defo would recommend going section by section when you're gluing down your wigs now i just did the rest of camera and just quickly dried the entire body of the hairline now my neighbors have just decided to start construction next door so i'm sorry if you hear any pounding and hammering um just ignore that but moving on, I'm now going to go ahead and create some baby hairs. I love doing baby hairs with my curly hair and really exaggerate them and swoop them. So this is like my favorite part to do. I just grab a section going from the arch of my brow to the end of my brow on both sides and then just parting off the sideburns as well. I'm grabbing my Slay Bay wax stick, which I always talk about in my videos recently. And I'm just applying that behind the hairline where I've parted off the baby hairs and grabbing my hot comb and just hot combing it back. This just helps me see clearly what I'm swooping and just helps separate everything and make things look sleeker. As you can see, I'm struggling to cut this baby hair, but I'm grabbing my eyebrow razor and I'm just cutting off the baby hairs. And for the mixture, I'm using my Got To Be Gel and I'm using my ORS Mousse. And after mixing both of them on the back of my hand, I'm just using the little like eyebrow comb that we saw at the start. This is a different one, um, but I'm literally just sweeping the baby hairs. That's literally it. I use my finger to sort of guide and hold down the area that I'm sweeping. And this just helps everything just to lay a bit flatter. Now, the reason I mix the Got To Be Gel and the mousse is because the mousse makes the baby hairs like it's just not strong enough and it always makes my lace lift as well and then the gel if i use that by itself it's just it makes the hair very stiff and just yeah just not cute so i found that mixing both of them sort of like lowers the strength on both of them and it's like the perfect combination to you know soup your baby hairs with so this is literally like my favorite 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 thing to use on them so i'm just doing the same on the other side i made this one like a little bit too big i don't know what happened but like i was struggling to like match the two sides um i made it work in the end but yeah now i couldn't decide what part and i wanted guys like i sort of wanted to go for the middle part you know do a little wet look make it look very you know sleek and just clean but then i was also really digging like the side part we had at the start um i feel like i might do a side part when the hair is dry i don't know because can you see it's like really fluffy and voluminous and i really like that look especially with the side part um but yeah i ended up going with the middle part and here's just me sectioning it off and making sure it's nice and clean i'm grabbing my hot comb and just combing down just a little bit of the hair not all the way down because you don't want the hair to start you know going straight at the front of your head so literally a hot comb till about where the roots stop now i'm just gonna go in with my wax stick again and i'm just making sure that we really really get this part you know to be as slick as humanly possible we want this to be flat we want this to be shiny not shiny but you know glossy let's go for that i'm now parting my hair off because we're gonna wet the entire body of hair this ugh, i hate doing this with curly hair i normally just dip my head in the shower and call it a day but obviously i'm on camera and i can't do that so i'm grabbing my pathetic little spray bottle and i'm just spraying my entire head and making sure all the hair is wet before grabbing my wella nutri curls curl Elixir balm you can use any curling cream you have you know get creative whatever works and i'm mixing it with a bit of my got to be gel rubbing it between the palms of my hands and just working it through the hair i'm literally just raking it through like i'm using my fingers as a comb and you know scrunching the hair really saturating my hair with the product now i just went ahead and did the rest off camera because it was just taking too long and it was getting boring so you know um as you can see this is what the end result was like and i just wet the hair a little bit more just to get any pieces that were drying up and you know just fixing the part a bit because it got a bit messed up through the whole like scrunching process so i'm just making sure that's still laying nice and straight and flat i'm just quickly going in with my hair dryer and just blasting my hair just to make sure 
it's got a tiny bit more volume but yeah this is the end result guys i really hope you enjoy the video i i love this hair like it's giving me beyonce vibes and i'm obsessed so yeah i hope you guys like it too make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye